As the number of those infected by the coronavirus Tuesday rose to four, Kenya joined a list of 140 nations that have been ravaged by the virus. Globally, 7,518 have been killed by the virus, with more than 180,000 people having been infected. So far, a total of 80,874 have since recovered from the virus. And as a result, various governments across the world continue to put in place measures to curb the spread, from suspension of flights to their countries to other measures such as the closure of the borders. Earlier on Tuesday, Jumbojet announced that flights to Kigali have been suspended after the number of infections in the country rose to five. In Europe, the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, has ordered for the suspension of payment of taxes, rent, water, gas, electricity and other crucial bills for companies as a way of cautioning citizens against the harsh economic times. In the U.S., President Donald Trump has launched a 15-day plan to slow new infections by encouraging stay homes and outlawing gatherings of 10 people or more among others. Avoid gathering in groups of more than 10 people, avoid discretionary travel, and avoid eating and drinking at bars, restaurants, and public food courts. The British government, on the other hand, has urged vulnerable and elderly citizens to isolate themselves for 12 weeks. They've also introduced a variety of social distancing and quarantine measures. As we've said over the last few weeks, we have a clear plan that we are now working through. And we're now getting on to the next phase in that plan, because this is now not just an attempt to contain the disease as far as possible, but to delay its spread. In Canada, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau initiated travel ban on other countries apart from U.S., closure of universities, bars and other public places, and has encouraged those returning from outside the country to self-isolate for at least 14 days. Brenda Chariot, K24 Evening Edition.